Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you another for loop, another example with a for loop. If you've watched the previous three videos on loops, um, you would know now how to create a for loop that runs, iterates a predetermined number of times uh, using the function range. So this for loop for i in range 0 to 3 is gonna run with i being equal to 0, i being equal to 1, i being equal to 2, and then it stops. So it will run three times and then at the end it will print done once all these lines are indented they are inside the for loop and the indentation is telling us that they are inside so now let's have a look and see what this code is doing we have a variable some squares that we initialize to zero we enter the loop uh, this print statement is going to tell us the value of i at each iteration so as i was saying it's going to say i now equal to zero i now equal to one i now equal to two and it will stop because the last value is not included and for each of those i values it's squaring the value and accumulating it in the variable sum squares and that's why we needed to initialize our variable sum squares so the first time we arrive to this line sum squares has a value of zero plus zero squared then it will have the value of one i will have the value of one so it'll be zero plus one squared one and it will be displayed on this line print sum squares now equals the value of sum squares then for each iteration we have a line separating the line and the final value will be on the final sum squares now equals sum squares okay let's run it and see what we get here okay, right click run example so we have i now equal to zero sum squares equals zero i is one sum squares is one remember zero plus one squared when i is equal to two sum squares was one two squared is four four plus one is five so sum squares now equals five new line to our line separating the iterations and our final done which is not indented therefore it's not inside the for loop 